Cursed items are items that adventurers find that have some type of negative consequence. These consequences can range anywhere from mild and funny to extremely dangerous. They can directly affect the user, or they might cause long-reaching issues within the world. Cursed items often have benefits attached to them, which makes using them a risk worth taking. They may also have specific requirements that need to be met in order to use them. When creating your own cursed items, you can add a hidden drawback, which may be immediately apparent to the player, or have hidden side effects known only to the DM. Some cursed items are so powerful that they have their own sentience. Use of these items might be dependent on the will of the item itself. The cursed item could try to change the alignment of the player, or try to take over the player's mind. Sentient cursed items often have their own objectives and have no qualms about using their wielder to achieve them. In these cases, players may wonder if they are in control of their actions, or if it's the item behind the wheel. Most cursed items should have a backstory attached to either how they were made, how they were used, or how terrible the curse they have is. Finding a random dagger that does plus two damage but takes away five hit points every use is not as exciting as finding the Black Dagger of Petrovich, genocidal leader of the Cult of Infinity. Spend as much or as little time on the item's backstory as you want, but remember that the best way to make a world feel alive is to have objects and people that have actually lived in it. Speaking of story, cursed items can be a very useful plot device in your game. If you make an item with a sufficiently interesting or mysterious backstory, your players may want to investigate where the item came from. Perhaps in order to destroy an item or curse, your adventurers will have to go on a specific quest. Another idea is to have someone in your world who's creating numerous cursed items and must be stopped. You can easily integrate cursed items into any quest, regardless of the methods you choose. These quests can take precedence over anything else the adventurers are doing. Cursed items that come with illness or other time-related factors will immediately take priority over anything else your players are doing. One of the best things about cursed items is that they can come from anywhere. An NPC can give a cursed item to adventurers at the beginning of a quest, and it can be something found in a dungeon or on a corpse or even a plot MacGuffin. You can give any amount of plot importance to a cursed item. The curse could even come from the specific actions of a player. There's no specific formula you need to follow for making your own in-game cursed items, so make sure you have a lot of fun with it. Just remember that the best kind of cursed items are the ones that players want to use. It doesn't make any sense to make a cursed item that will cause something terrible to happen instantly or continuously without any benefit. Make sure the risks outweigh the dangers, or you'll end up making a bunch of items that your players never use. Similarly, if you make the risk too low and the benefit too high, you risk overpowering your players. Cursed items can easily add an element of fun to your game without being too punishing. Items with minor curses can have very useful benefits with a very low cost of use. Adding an element of humor to the curse is always a good idea. The goal is to make the players comfortable with the balance of the item's power. Here are a couple of examples. The Ring of the Emperor. This gold ring is inlaid with a beautiful opal. 24 hours after donning this ring, charisma-based skill checks have a plus two bonus. The curse? Each time the bonus on this item is used, one item of the wearer's clothing or armor becomes invisible. The bonus decreases to negative four if all items of the clothing on the player are invisible, rendering the player completely naked. The wearer may remove the ring at any time, causing the items to reappear. Boots of the Snail. While wearing these boots, the wearer cannot be knocked prone and can climb solid surfaces. These boots have a thin layer of mucus along the soles, which transfers to the ground with each step the wearer makes. The curse? Decreases movement speed by 10 feet. Only a pinch of salt will remove the boots from the wearer. Items with medium curses are more likely to have heavier negative side effects. As such, it's not a bad idea to increase the benefit to make it more appealing. These items might be sentient and have their own motivations, which may or may not align with the player's motivations. In addition, these items may be more difficult to get rid of. But maybe you're looking for a very substantial, dangerous curse. It could be as serious as the item killing the wielder, dominating the player's mind, 
or sucking out their soul? If so, the benefit has to be so incredibly tempting that a player will take the risk of using it. These are the types of items that are more likely to have hidden negative effects known only to the DM. And, in classic curse fashion, the negative effects can reveal themselves at the most inopportune times. Moreover, these items may be near impossible to remove without heavy consequences or their own quest. If you're looking to understand the mechanics of how cursed items are created in 5th edition, or looking for some really crunchy rules to create your own, we've got a couple of links in the description for some step-by-step -step instructions. Use them to create items for your players, so that when you curse them, it won't just be with words. Happy DMing!